This is what we are having for dinner. This is a paleo version of a butternut squash soup. You can also make this non-paleo super easy by just changing one ingredient. So this is one of our favorite fall soups and one of our soups just in general. So. Mama. so the ingredients you'll need is one butternut squash. This one was about six pounds, I believe, and then I've roasted this in the oven. To roast it, all you need to do is cover it with butter or vegan butter, whichever you like, salt and pepper, and put about a half an inch of water in the bottom, and then bake it in the oven at 425 for about 40 minutes. That's how I did this one. Um, you'll have to follow yours, you know, to what size your butternut squash is. But that was mine. I have about three cups of um, homemade chicken broth here that I froze. I have salt, pepper, I have some of that vegan roasted garlic and herb um, butter type stuff, and then some coconut milk. I forgot to add that you have to have a medium onion, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this bad boy and add it to the crock pot. Now what I'm going to do is cube the butternut squash. I'm just going to cut vertical lines up and down and then horizontal lines across, and then kind of scoop it out like you would an avocado. I have added all of the squash to this, the crock pot and then right there you'll see the chicken broth so I thawed that just enough to get it out of the bowl so all that's in there now is the chicken broth and the squash. So I have added the whole onion in. I just cut it um, you know, in bigger pieces. It won't matter because you're going to blend it with a food processor or a blender so the bigger pieces don't matter. So now I'm going to add the seasonings and the vegan butter and then the coconut milk and I will put all the measurements down below. I am making mine paleo style. You don't have to use coconut milk, you could use normal milk or whole milk or cream or whatever you want. Um, but the butternut squash makes it really creamy anyway, so you don't need a whole, whole lot. So I have added the vegan butter, which is right here, salt and pepper, and then the coconut milk. Um, I'm just going to cover this and put this on low for between 6 and 8 hours. I'll just check it and stir it in between. Um, I'm going to give this a good stir before I put the lid on, and then you can just leave it. I just gave this a stir. It's been cooking for two hours, and it smells really, really good. The squash is starting to get a little softer, and the onions are getting softer too. So, yeah, this is how it looks after two hours. Here's what it looks like. It's been in the crock pot for about seven hours. It cooked through the six hours, and then it's just been on warm for the last hour. So I'm going to mix this and then ration it into the blender and blend it till it's smooth. I just finished blending the soup. This is what the texture is, I'll show you. Very, very, very creamy and not that bad for you because it's just the squash and the coconut milk really. So um, you can make this sweeter. A lot of people like this better with nutmeg and cinnamon. But this is my own recipe, and I just like mine a little more salty, like salt and peppery, like a little more savory. So feel free to add cinnamon and nutmeg if you like yours a little more sweet. Mama. Mama. This is what it looks like. Um, this is Mama. portioned out in a two cup size. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you how much it made in just a second. This is how much that soup made along with our dinner tonight. So it made three of these size. They're all the same. It's just different containers. It's all two cups. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and then I have fourteen. So it made fourteen cups of soup or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different meals. So I think that's awesome. This is an easy one to just thaw out or throw in your lunch bag or whatever. So yeah, this is one of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you like it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.